In this tutorial, you will learn how to create realistic smart object based t-shirt mockup template. You will learn how to take your average t-shirt mockup template and make it awesome by adding realism to your smart object design. As a bonus, you will also learn how to change your t-shirt color to create multiple variations of the t-shirt. There are three big benefits of smart object based mockup template. First is excellent quality and realism. Second, using smart object template, you can automate your mockup creation process and create hundreds of mockup in just few minutes. Third biggest benefit, if you are a mockup seller, smart object based mockup template sells at a higher price. To start up the mockup creation process, you need a t-shirt image. You can source the image from any free or paid stock website or you can create them using AI tools like Midjourney. I have a cool guide how to create t-shirt mockups with Midjourney. You may check that video. Open the image in Photoshop. Next, grab this placeholder design. There's a download link in the description. Go get it. And drag and drop in this on your t-shirt image. Next, using the anchor and your cursor, uh, position it at the center of the t-shirt. Like this. Uh, once done, you can hit the check mark over here. So you have successfully added a smart object layer on your t-shirt image. If you look at this layer, a smart object layer can be identified by this bottom right corner smart object thumbnail. Now we'll add the realism to the smart object design. To add realism, the first step is to get the positioning of the design correct. In this image, the model is looking straight at the camera and placing the design was very simple. But how about this image? So this is a smart object layer. To activate the control points, press Ctrl T or Command T if you're in Mac. Now using the anchor points, re resize the design, place it at the center. You can use Alt and the mouse wheel to zoom in. Resize this further. Next, you want the plane of the t-shirt and the plane of the designs to match. The control points being activated, you'll right click and will focus on these two options, perspective and distort. Let us try perspective, grab the anchor points at the edge. There are two directions you can go, sideways or front or back. So grab it and go downside. This will follow the perspective of the t-shirt. You can also grab the anchor points on the right edge and do the same thing. Try to match the plane of the t-shirt. You take your cursor to the center and click and move the design if you wish. I think this looks nice. Right click and then click on place. The design is perfectly placed. The plane is perfectly in alignment now. You can again activate the control points by pressing control T and now uh, you can just resize this so that the design element only fall on the t-shirt, not on the hands. This looks nice. So likewise, you can use the other control points. Uh, at times, if perspective does not work, you can use the distort option as well. So now we have got the perfect design placement, but the design still look wasted and unreal. To make the design look real, we need to add highlights and shadows over the design. There are two ways to achieve that. Method one is using hard light blending mode and the method two is extracting the shadows and highlights from the t-shirt. Let us first look at the hard light blending mode method. Go and select the t-shirt layer. Press Ctrl J to duplicate this t-shirt layer. Now grab this t-shirt layer and place it on the top of the design. Now go to image adjustment and select desaturate. Now on the blending mode, you see normal. Select this and go to the drop down and select hard light. Next, right click on the layer and click on create clipping mask. By creating clipping mask, the effect of the hard light blending mode is only applied to the layer beneath it which in this case is our placeholder design. Now, uh, go to image, 
adjustment and select curves so this is the curve adjustment layer i will grab this edges and make adjustment so that the design comes out properly so this is the shadow part click on this and move the slider to the right uh, this will bring out the design uh, this looks nice now we can grab the highlight part and bring it down so make adjustment and tweaks to the slider until you get the perfect looking design on the t-shirt you can zoom in to look at the effect so you can make further adjustment looking closely at the design yeah this looks nice header ok now to show you the before and after so this is the hard light blend mode if you do not add the hard light blend mode look at the design so this is flat it does not follow the curve or the shadows of the t-shirt when clicking on this one you can see how the design embeds on the t-shirt for darker shirts we will just reverse the slider action in the curves adjustment layer we'll grab the highlights and bring it to the left and the shadow angle will move it to the top we'll make this slight adjustment and look at the design on the t-shirt once you are satisfied we'll hit on ok uh, this is without hard light and this is with the hard light blending mode so using the hard light blend mode method we have added some level of realism on the design and our mockup template is ready to apply our design we will double click on the smart object icon turn off all these layers uh, go grab one of your design I will grab this happy christmas design and place it at the center then move it on the top and hit on this check mark next go to file save I can close this and the design is applied on the t-shirt let me zoom it and look at how the shadows follow the design this is the hard light blend mode that we applied let me turn it off you could see that different now let us take a look at the more advanced method of extracting shadows and highlights this will be a game changer because if you extract shadows and highlight it gives you an additional benefit of changing the t-shirt color for the method of extracting shadows and highlight let us move on to this model image so the first step in the process is to make a selection of the t-shirt to do that select that model image uh, grab your quick selection tool using the left and right bracket buttons you can increase the size and make a selection of the t-shirt once the selection has been made grab this model image layer press ctrl j or command j this will duplicate the t-shirt or the selected part into a new layer next turn off the visibility of this placeholder as well as this model image now open windows and action we have an action shadow extraction from bulk markup you can grab this action from the link in the description so we have two actions here shadow and highlights first let us select shadow and click on the play button we get a prompt adjust the level slider to bring out the shadows of the image more contrast between the shadow and the highlights the better i'll hit on continue so we get this levels control and we could see the image we have red part and some white part so this we need to have a contrast between the highlights and the shadows so using the slider you could create the contrast if you look over here uh, it was quite red moving the slider to the left it brings out some distinct part i think this is the sweet spot so play with it and get the perfect uh, you know contrast with the shadows and highlight what's done hit on ok and there we have the shadow layer se separated onto a new layer shadow okay next uh, turn off the visibility of the shadow layer grab layer 1 go to the actions panel this time select highlights and click on play again adjust the level slider to bring out the highlights of the image more contrast between the shadow and highlights the better so i think i'll continue 
Uh, this time around, the levels control is on the left because this is the highlight part. Again, adjust this to get the best out of the highlights. I think this would be too little. Yeah, and this looks nice. And it up, okay. Now we have the highlights part on a new layer. Now you can go back and turn on the visibility of all the layers. Uh, this is the design layer. Grab this design layer and place it beneath the highlights. Okay. And next, turn off the visibility of all the layers. Now, press Ctrl and click on layer 1. This will make the selection. Now, select the model layer and press delete key. Now, press Ctrl D. This will deselect. So, this is what we have now. You will have a design over here. Then, you can place the highlights and the shadows. Go to layer 1. Go to solid color and select a color. Place this fill color beneath this model layer and turn off this one. So this fill color will define the color of the t-shirt. So you can go ahead and make select any color. Bright red, blue, cyan, green, whatever. Uh, you, you can even provide the color code from the manufacturer so maybe I'll select this blue. Now, uh, we have our flat lake color. We have the model part. Uh, we have this placeholder. And on the placeholder, we'll be adding the shadows part. So first, select this shadow, turn on the visibility. This looks nice. Reduce the opacity, you know, something that gives you the best vibe. Now, turn on the highlights. Again, reduce the opacity. So play with the sliders until you get the perfect color. There you have it. Your mock-up template is ready. Separating the shadow and highlights into different layer gives you more control. You can go and change the t-shirt color to any color codes. Maybe black. Tweaking the opacity of the shadow and highlight layer to give you the perfect color. Also look at the design, how shadow and highlights are perfectly embedded into the design to give it a realistic look. Now you have seen two simple methods of adding realism to your smart object design. If you wish to take it further, you can apply displacement map and liquify filter. There are some video links on the description that you may want to check. Now once you have created smart object based mockup template, you can easily automate your mockup creation process by using our bulk mockup photoshop plugin. If you want to learn more about how to automate your mockup creation process, go watch the next video.